Hi, I'm Jason Bender, lead designer of Command & Conquer 4. Today I'm going to be talking about the offense crawler. A major gameplay element of CNC4 is that uh, you're playing on a team. Uh, it wasn't long before we realized that having 150 buildings on the field that were getting blown up by a variety of players and knocking certain people out of the match was going to be a problem. So we realized we needed something that could be a compact base, something you could get back into the game with very quickly, uh, and something that really represented you on the battlefield. Thus was born the crawler. It's your, uh, your base, it's your radar, it's your war factory, uh, it's a heavy combat vehicle, it's your identity on the battlefield. It represents a lot of different things. Well, I'm a 3D artist. Um, I was responsible for the look and design for uh, the GDI and Nod crawlers. And here is a high-res model of our offensive crawler. It was since they had to perform a lot of functions, it was important to get them to transform accurately. When they were in vehicle mode, I wanted them to look like a, a tank that walked. And then when they turned into their structure mode, it was important for me for to make it look like a building and not a parked vehicle. I have to make two models and put in one texture. You know, I receive a concept, which uh, just the 3D models shape of it. So the challenge for me is to come up with the, you know, the texture on, it's like the skin on that models. My task uh, on the crawler was to make it come alive. So it was a little bit challenging. Uh, my task was to take the crawler after, uh, after modeling and make sure it could actually transform from unit to structure and vice versa and also that the procedural destruction that you see featured in the game was working correctly. In CNC4, we wanted to introduce a deeper degree of destruction, uh, try to give to the player um, a good satisfaction feeling when they manage to destroy one of the larger units. Uh, and we wanted to portray the unit being literally destroyed uh, little by little and see the inside of the unit as you destroy it. So uh, we took the larger unit, like the crawler, as the player hits the unit, the unit gets literally uh, eviscerated or, or destroyed and you can actually see the part coming off and see the inside of the unit and all the guts. Hi, my name is Aram Granger and I blow stuff up on CNC4. Really, our, our direction with the crawler, uh, our art director, Chris Tamburino, said, make it look different. And so I said, okay. Uh, and we needed to have some more kind of interior detail to the explosions on this. And we needed to have um, sort of an inside roiling of the smoke, whereas kind of before in other CNC games, um, you would see particle sprites just kind of disappear when the particle ended. And I wanted to get some sort of movement in between the particle's birth and its death. The crawler itself, is, since it's such a big unit, is every time it hits on the crawler system, you get a different uh, explosion coming out, a different, different debris, and it will go through its death state. It has a whole another death animation that Umberto did, and then its final explosion, final death. And so that's, that's kind of the big deal about the crawler. So the crawler functions as not only your base of operations, a large vehicle, but also your war factory and your personality on the field. It's a rallying point for everything you do. 